Modern economic systems are complex. We will discuss three ways societies have found to organize an economy. The traditional economy, the command economy, and the market economy. In traditional economies, what you produce is what you get to consume. Little to no trade happens in these economies. This system can still be found in parts of Asia, Africa, and South America. In a command economy, the government is in control of what and how much of each good and service is produced and who can consume them. North Korea and Cuba are modern command economies. A market is an institution where buyers and sellers come together. In a market economy, buyers and sellers determine how much they will buy and sell of each good and service and at what price. Most market economies are based on private enterprise, where private individuals own the means of production, like land, buildings, and natural resources. In command economies, the means of production are owned by government. Most economies today are a mixture of traditional, command, and market economies. Even the U.S. economy is a mixed economy. This mix happens many times in the form of government regulations that directly or indirectly affect the markets. In economies that are heavily regulated, underground markets may emerge where transactions are completed without government approval, like the buying and selling of illegal drugs. One last concept related to economics and markets is globalization which is the connecting and trading between people around the world. In economic terms, globalization has been the source of international trade and financial transactions. The trading of goods and services leaving a country is called exports. And the trading of goods and services entering a country is called imports. In the end, each country keeps track of their overall production by a measure called gross domestic product or GDP.